All right, in this video, we're going to be using YOLO v10 to train a custom data set. We're going to be looking at this MRI scan data set to see if we could detect if the part of the brain has a tumor which is positive or if it is negative. So the outline for today is we're going to be looking at a couple of things. So first off, we're going to go over the YOLO v10 overview, talk about how to set up and verify your GPU, install YOLO v10, download the weights, prepare the data set, train using YOLO v10, review the training results, and finally detect the objects using our YOLO v10. Okay, so here is a YOLO v10 GitHub repo readme. So I already downloaded the repo, but here you can see that we're looking at the AP here, the average precision, and here is the latency. So what they're comparing here is the different YOLOs. So here we have YOLO 10 in red, and you can see that um, it's pretty much right here. So you can see that it says it's better than all the rest, it's faster and it performs better. And if we're comparing with like YOLO V8, V9, and V7, you can see that seven is right about here, and eight is this line here, and finally nine is the other red one in the dashed line. Uh, I can't quite see it here. Maybe I'm blind, but you can see that it's obviously where they're saying that V10 is the best. So, you know, the best way to figure that out is to actually test it. Um, but you can see the YOLO V9 here on the right. You can see this red uh, right here. So you can see that it's actually pretty close to V10, but and this here, we're just going to go ahead and see how it performs on our actual data set. So if you look through here, you can see that uh, it talks about the different performances here. So we have the N, S, M, B, L, and X. So you could go ahead and play around with the different types. And for us, we're going to be looking at the small one. Uh, so you could kind of choose whichever you want. And they have some steps here, which we'll go over uh, later on. And you could see that we have all these different weights here, which we could go ahead and extract from. Uh, we could get the link here to download the weights later on. Okay. So to verify your GPU and set up, um, you could go ahead and use this notebook in Google Colab. So you want to go to Edit, Notebook Settings, T4 GPU, and Save. And you could run this command here, the NVIDIA-SMI. This will verify if everything is up and running. Now to install YOLO v10. So first off, I'm going to be putting everything in my Google Drive. So you want to run these steps right here. This is drive.mount. This will allow you to have access to your folders in your Google Drive. And here we have, we're going to CD into our folder here. And then you could put it in whatever folder you want. This is the folder that I'm putting it in. And once you're in the folder, you could go ahead and git clone the repo. And once you have that, you just need to do one last step. One thing you're going to notice is that it has a TOML file in here. So um, typically, this means that it's going to be treated as a package. So you want to go ahead and CD into that folder and then run the pip install dot. This will pretty much, it's like doing a pip install for the package, but you're doing it within that repo. So once you do that, it's going to allow you to run your YOLO commands later. This will take a few minutes. Uh, but once that's done, you could go ahead and run the YOLO commands that we'll talk about later on. So to actually download the YOLO weights, we could go to the different ones that we saw in our readme earlier. And you want to copy the link that you want. And it's pretty simple. You just run the wget command followed by the link that you want to use. So here we're using the n which is the smallest one. You can play around to see which one works for, uh, the best for you. But obviously, the bigger the model you use, the longer it's going to take. So you want to find that trade-off balance between performance and speed. So choose the one that fits your application. Next up, we want to prepare our data set. So for the data set that I'm using, I downloaded it from Kaggle here. Um, but for yours, you could either annotate it yourself using a RoboFlow or there's different types out there. Or you could go ahead and go to Kaggle or any uh, data sets websites that has your data sets and just download it. 
But depending on the data set that you get, there's a couple of things to pay attention to because the format folder structure is going to be expected in a very specific way for the code to work. So typically you have a test, train, and valid folder. And within each of these folders, you're going to have um, images and labels, which are two other folders within those folders. And then inside of here, you're going to have your actual images and labels, which will describe the location of your objects. And you can have up at least one class and more than one class. So just make sure that your label file specifies that in the correct format. So the next important thing is your data.yaml file. So this is a file that will contain all of your information regarding where your uh, folders are located. So you have to train, val, and test. So once you figure that out, then you could um, find the links of that here I'm copying the full path directly and just copying and pasting it here. And then you want to specify how many classes. We have two classes, which is negative and positive. So choose the one that works for you. Now we're ready to train our YOLO v10. So you want to make sure that you're in the right path. So here we have our directory path here, which is our YOLO v10 folder. And I want to go ahead and CD there. Then once we cd into the folder, you just need to run this command here, yolo detect train. You want to specify the data uh, YAML file location and then the model location. Here we're using the yolo v10n.pt. Um, that's where we've downloaded it. And you can specify your epochs and batch size. So you may have to massage this, play around with it, different combinations of um, model size, epochs, and batches to see what works for you. So um, it's going to be a little bit of an art to see what works. But here we're just showing the process, not so much the performance. But once you go through all that uh, training, um, it's going to take a little bit. But once you do do that, what you'll notice is that you'll have your results here. So this is the folder inside of your YOLO v10 is going to be under runs and detect. And it's going to be under the train folder. So uh, depending on how many times you've ran it, typically it'll be in the last train folder. It's going to have a weights folder here. So this is going to be, you're going to choose the one that you um, have. It's going to be the best one usually. And last is usually if it got stopped midway. But you can see the results here. Um, here is the confusion matrix. Usually the confusion matrix, you want this to be a diagonal. So you can see that this training result wasn't so good. Um, but we could see some of the results here. And you can see the this is one of the main plots that you want to look at. But you can see that here, if we look at the mean average precision 50 and the 5095, you can see it plateaus at like 0.4, which is not so great. You want to be close to 1. So you can see that. Um, this training output is not so great, but like I said, you're probably going to have to play around with the different parameters to see what works for your data sets. So here, let's go ahead and take a look at um, the prediction here. So let's see how well some of the actual testing did. But you can see that here we have the validation batch 2 uh, labels and prediction. So let's see how many of it it got right. So label, what this means is that this is the ground truth. Prediction is how our model did. So you can see that this one, they got, uh, you can see that it's positive, but in the back there was some negative here. So that part is not so great. Um, this one here, we can see that they got this one correct, which is positive. Um, this negative one here, they got correct. And you can see that the rest, it didn't do so well. So you can see that uh, the performance isn't that great, but in the perfect case, you know, you would see a much better match between these two results. Now to actually detect the object with YOLO v10, uh, you want to do the same thing in case you run this at a separate time. That's why I'm repeating these steps here. But once you're in the right path, you just need to run the YOLO predict command where you specify your model location. Again, we're using our best. That's the um, one that we're choosing. 
and you want to specify the location of your image. So this is going to be your source and the path to your image. So once you do that, all the folders, it's going to generate a predict folder here. And inside the predict one, it's going to show you your results. So here we have two results here. Um, this one I ran, which is the 02, 102 here. You can see that it didn't predict anything. And this one here, it predicted a negative. So you could, you could play around with this, try more test cases, and see how the results look. But again, you're going to probably have to figure out the right um, epochs, batch size, and a combination of the right model to see how your performance, um, if it meets your expectations. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.